Hey, another week and another Obsidian update. These developers are crazy. This is version 0.9.3. And no, it's not an amazing new graph view. It's not being able to publish your notes online. In fact, this update is just about three tiny features. But interestingly enough, each feature can actually subtly change your workflow. And the last one, which is the most innocuous, can have the biggest impact to what you do. So in order, we're going to cover saved workspaces, hover preview, the new functionality built around it, and then finally, this thing that's called copy search results. That doesn't sound very exciting, right? But it will change how you can approach linking your thoughts. So let's dive in. Okay, the first feature we want to explore is saved workspaces. Let's check this out. So we're in the light kit over here. I'm at the home note. Let's go to settings and check out plugin. Now last time we scrolled to the bottom to activate the publish feature. Now in this version 093, we have workspaces. So I've toggled this on and we can notice now we have a workspace icon that appears in the sidebar ribbon. So let's check this out. I've pre-made three. Now, when you get started with your own workspaces, the first thing you should do is save a base setting. So right when you open it for the first time, I've already done this, but base example, we'll call this, right? Save it. That way you have your base saved and you can always go back to it. So now, why would we want to use workspaces? In fact, that's a great question for you to ask yourself. When would you want to use a separate workspace? I've identified a few. And here's the cool thing. Before we dive into what those are, we can go to settings, hotkeys, and let me just type in works. Okay, there we go. And I can create some hotkeys for these workspaces. So load workspace, I'm going to make this shift escape for now. So now all of a sudden I'm doing my thing, I'm working, but I want a different view, a different workspace. So I hit shift escape and these are the workspaces. So let's check out writing. So that flattens out the sides and I'm just focused on one screen. I can just focus on my writing. But if we want to go back, hotkey, back to base. All right, are we starting to see how this is pretty cool? Like the power that we can uh, achieve with, with this? Now, here's another one though. The local graph being so powerful, maybe you want sort of a local graph view where it's this big part of your sidebar and then you have everything else over here. And then you can scroll, you can do your work, you know, you can click on a few different things that you have open and see what happens. So that's saved workspaces. Now let's hop over into hover preview. What does this mean, hover preview? We had page preview before and hover preview is the same thing, except now we have more options. So let's say if I hover over levels of magnification, the first thing is I can scroll through. All right, that's pretty cool. I can also hover on any link and that link appears. So we have these sort of infinite windows that pop up. And now from here, I can look, see if there's another link I wanna click on, yin and yang, and then I can go to seasons. And so do, I mean, how cool is this? This sort of infinite pop-up window. Pretty cool when you're just going down these bunny trails, but you don't wanna lose the main point, right? So if I just kind of hover away, the main page is still here. So it allows us to quickly hop off to explore bunny trail, and then we come back to the main point, and then we're back where we want to be. So we don't lose our place. We can just quickly travel and then travel back. So I'm finding that to be pretty important. Now, here's something that's really cool. I'm going to hover over refraction thinking. And actually, I have the page right here as well. So this is refraction thinking. And here's what I did. I put in a checkbox. I can check it, right? See that? Testing, surely I can't just click on, oh my, so what's going on? So if I hover over refraction thinking, I can actually, look at that, I can actually check the box off from the hover mode. There are some workflows where that's going to be pretty cool, pretty valuable. I'm not huge into the check boxes with my idea management, but a lot of people are. So that's two down. We covered saved workspaces and we covered all the new features of Hover Preview. Now we're onto that sneaky one that actually packs a powerful punch. And what is that? It's copy search results. So let's check it out. So checking this out, 
the first thing we want to do that I want to do, I want to change my workspace. So I hit my hotkey and I'll go back to the base workspace. All right, so what we want to do is go to search and let's check out, I, I know what I want to search for. I want to search for flow because whenever I can get a chance to plug Mihai's work, this is Mihai Chiksent Mihai, and it is really the foundation, foundational work when it comes to being in the zone, um, experiencing optimal, optimal experiences in life. And uh, whenever I can reference this book, I do because it kicks, kicks butt. So uh, I just searched for flow. Let me collapse the results, which you can do by clicking there. Now check out all these things. Like how am I supposed to make sense of them? Now I can, you know, uncollapse and I can kind of scroll through and, and that's valuable. Absolutely. Um, it's very valuable, but this is what's cool. Now I can copy search results. And so the first time you open it up, it'll, it'll look like this, just a bunch of text. Now you can show the full path. So you can see that this note now shows the folders it's buried in. Now this is kind of an example. I don't prefer using folders in this way. Let's turn off show path. I don't find much value in it. You might. Link style, definitely wiki link for me, which gives us the brackets. Now, here, how do you want to copy this? I think it's kind of nice to copy with the dash. I mean, not always, but I think with these big searches, this is kind of what I'd like to do. So there we go. Now, if I didn't want to copy everything, I could just highlight the ones I want to copy and then just hit copy. In this case, though, I do want to copy everything. So it doesn't matter what I do here. I'm just going to hit copy results and the results are copied. We can see that. Cool. Now let's open my daily note and I kind of prepped it just with this title. But here's what I want you to do. If you use this feature, think of a tag, any tag that you want to use. The one that I'm going to say is my best practice is workbench because a new workbench is a place to sort discard and rearrange stuff. And maybe it becomes a map of content in MOC, maybe it doesn't. But, so here we go, we copied all that content and then boom, we paste. Check this out, isn't this awesome? All of these, all of these amazing details. So now if, I, if I'm in edit mode, like I am, I can just hit command as I'm hovering over and then I can see what's inside. So. What I want to do now, though, is I don't want to just keep all this. And we'll get to the one caveat, the thing that you have to be careful of when you use this tool. Uh, and it's kind of, we'll get there, though, in a second. So the first thing is, as I'm looking at these, I might say, okay, these are big maps. I really don't need those. I don't want those. So what am I trying to accomplish here? And then you make your category and you say category, you know, X, Y, Z, and then you decide let's say you really, really don't need that many. So you get to this point. Now another hotkey that uh, I'll just throw out there, but you can swap these lines. So I have it programmed to Option or Alt up and down. So I, whatever I'm on, I can move four virtues up and down. So this is a really quick way to develop some relational positioning, right? And, and that's one of the beauties of these higher order notes like maps of content. Now, there's a reason I call this initial copy and pasting when we use this new feature, copy search results. There's a reason I use the tag workbench and not MOC. It's because this stuff can get really messy, really fast. So I'll give you the super fast example. You know, remember I can paste everything like this. Now, it, look at all these links that it forms. If we go to the actual graph view, I have some filters going, let me get rid of that. So really quickly, if you do this, let's see if we can find what we just created. All right, this is the new daily note that has all the links I pasted. Now look at this graph. I have to tell you, this daily note should not have this much attention brought to it. It's just a workspace. It's a workbench. So imagine if I did this a few more times, my graph would be a mess and it would not be a helpful mess. It would be a mess of, of all these links that I've dirtied up my, my um, digital library with. So what I'm saying is you have to be careful. The best way 
if you're in a rush and you're not able to completely sort everything and discard everything, is to give it the tag workbench or something like workbench. Because now, when I go to graph view, let's say it's all a mess because I've been working really fast, now I can start to clean it up. And the easiest way now is I can just search that tag, workbench. And for this example, I just have this one, but I can find all of these big workbench notes with all of these links that I haven't really organized and discarded. And then I can make sure that I'm keeping things organized and tidy. I hope you enjoyed this first look video at Obsidian 0.9.3. It's covering workflow and workflow is really cool. I think we can become sort of obsessed with workflow and it's not healthy. You always wanna remember why you're doing it, what you're trying to accomplish. And so in the Linking Your Thinking workshop, which starts the end of October, we cover how you can create your custom, personalized personal knowledge management system. It's not cookie cutter, it's not just follow these three or four folders and you're fine. This is built specifically for your needs. I'm not going to cover it now, there'll be more on this to come, but I just wanted to throw another heads up that registration is opening soon and be on the lookout. I'll see you later.